Yo, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how we can work with detecting connection quality and connection type, and also allow a user to be able to refresh their app if they have no internet available. This is an integral part of a lot of um, applications nowadays because a lot of them are reliant on internet access. So this tutorial, if you're accessing any sort of API, this will help you out. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to install a package from React Native Community called NetInfo. This is a package that was already made a while ago, uh, but the React Native Community was able to come in uh, because it was deprecated and they were able to build on top of it. So we're going to go ahead and install that. All right, next thing we need to do is we need to install React Native Restart. This is going to allow us to be able to restart our app on command. And once it's done installing, we're also going to go ahead and do CD iOS. And we're going to do pod install. All right, so now everything is installed. And what I'm going to be doing is inside of my app.js file, I'm going to import React Native uh, net info. So I'm going to do import net info from, oops, net info from at React Native community slash net info. And then I'm going to add a little bit of code to be able to check if we have our app connected or not. All right, so I just went ahead and opened up my app. Right now it's connected to the internet and we have two options. We can either dynamically ask the user if their internet is connected so we can detect while the user is using the app that if the internet for some reason goes off that we want to display an alert or a message that tells them, hey, can you reconnect back to the internet or else this app is not going to connect. Um, or, or we can just check it for once uh, in the beginning and allow them to use the app forever after that. So let's say we have an app that can work offline, but initially it needs some data. We can do something like that too. But in our case, since we're relying heavily on the Digican API, we want to make sure that we tell our user to be connected to the internet no matter what. All right, so what I'm going to do is underneath my use effect is I'm going to create a const variable. So I'll do const unsubscribe, and this is coming straight to the documentation. Um, but be sure to subscribe to this channel because it has a lot of good information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the variable that we imported right here, net info, and then I'm going to do dot add event listener. Inside of here, I'm going to give it a prop, oops, a parameter called state, and I'm going to make it as an error function. And what I'll do is I'll do cons. Actually, no, let's do this. Let's do if state dot is connected is equal to uh, false. What we want to do is let's just console all logs. So let's do console log not connected to the internet. And else if let's say the state that is connected is equal to true. I mean, you could just do else, but I'm going to do else if just in case there's another parameter that gets added to uh, net info for this, but I digress. So I'm going to do console.log connected. Connect. There we go. So I'm going to save it. And right now we see that we have connected appearing in our console. Now, if I were to turn off my Wi-Fi, that we will immediately see not connected to the internet. So let's connect back. And it should say, hopefully, connected, connected, perfect. All right, so now just to make sure that we have the appropriate amount of re-renders. I'm going to contain our unsubscribe and a use effect. So I'll just make a use effect down here. I know we made one up here too, but uh, I'm going to make another one. Good practice. And inside of here, I'm just going to give it unsubscribe, run the function. And that's it. So now, whenever we run it, it should ideally run once every single time we reload the app. All right, so now what we're going to do is allow the user to have some power to be able to reload the app if their internet is not connected. So the way that we're going to do that is I'm going to get rid of this console log first. And next, I'm going to create an alert, which I have to first import it from React Native. So I'll do import alert. And at the bottom of this, I'm also going to import rn restart from react native restart there we go and what i'll do is i'll do alert dot alert and the alert title will be no internet and for the message let's do something like please reconnect connect there we go 
and we want to make a button that does a certain action so what I'll do is I will do an array block with curly braces and instead of here I'll give it a key called text and the text for this button will do reload app and we're also going to do an on press functionality so I'm going to run it as a function and we'll do rn restart dot restart like so perfect make it look prettier so now if I were to if I were to uh, reload let's say I get rid of the internet it's going to tell me hopefully or it does not save it okay so it asked me to reload the app I reload the app nothing happens so it's going to ask me to reload the app then let's say I reconnect to the internet and then I reload the app and there we go now it works perfect all right so that pretty much concludes this tutorial just fyi uh, the data in the background does load automatically because of react query it's a built-in functionality that checks if the internet is already connected but this is for any um, apis for react native projects that aren't connected to react query so um, if you did enjoy this be sure to like and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one peace